Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is definitely a very beautiful energy of emotional fulfillment. Um, some sort of wish is being granted. I do see you reaching a point of contentment in your love life. Um, this is definitely feeling quite satisfied with some sort of outcome. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have is the Two of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, we have the World card, Fixed Sign Energy. And finally, we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so I do see some sort of successful completion of a cycle here. Um, there is a sense of you getting something that you've been um, working towards for a long time or hoping for for a long time. You finally reached the finish line. The, the end goal has been achieved here. Um, you're connecting with somebody who really wants an equal give and take. This person definitely wants to give to the situation. Um, I do see them also viewing you as their equal. Um, there is a sense of mutual um, interest here. And this is a generous person. I do see someone who is a giver and someone who believes in love. Um, this person also views you as somebody who's very emotionally independent. I do see that they, they quite admire that. They like that about you. And um, they do feel like there is a lot of potential for this connection. Um, this person is wanting to make plans for the future of this connection. They're starting to think about the future of the connection with the two of wands there. And um, this person recognizes that... Um, they, they want to create the opportunities to build some sort of future. So I do see somebody who is, um, this is a very reciprocal love here. Um, so let's clarify these cards, Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of peace. Um, I am seeing someone who's able to put ego aside. This is definitely somebody who's operating from their heart space. This is somebody who, um, you know, really isn't afraid to make what um, their intentions known, to put their heart out there. Um, I do see somebody who is very much giving to the connection. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, we have the Page of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Four of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so this person really does desire you. With the page, with the Queen of Wands, I do see this as somebody who's very attracted to you. Um, this is also someone who sees you as somebody, um, you know, who is very talented, um, somebody who has their own thing going for them and very inspiring. So I do see this person admires you um, even further than just romantically. This is someone who looks up to you in many ways and they have a lot of respect for you. Um, they definitely do see you as wish fulfillment. Um, I do see this person as someone who likes to study you with the page of swords this is someone who's genuinely interested in you as a person they would like to get to know you more and um i do see um a sense of them finally wanting to move the connection forward with the two of wands they do see a future here um there is a sense that there's something you've been waiting on with this person and it's finally here um there is a sense that you you're achieving something with this person and it's putting you in a state of contentment and um bliss with the Four of Cups, this is, again, you never having to um, settle in the situation. Um, in fact, there's no need to settle for less than, and I do see you not settling. Um, you know your worth with this Queen of Wands energy, and I do see you getting um, 
um, something more than what you could have settled for. There is a sense that there was a point where you could have settled for less, but you turned that down. And now you're finally getting that more that you had been waiting for. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. So the card says, what do you need to release? Waning moon. Okay, so I do see there is a closing out of a chapter here. Um, there is also a sense of um, becoming into more harmony and balance with this person. Um, there is a sense of um, really stepping into a more emotionally satisfied, independent energy with the Nine of Cups and not settling for less. So it's like you're releasing some sort of um, mindset or... Um, small offers are not really impressive to you at this time and i do see you you don't need to settle here there is more here for you okay so i do see you being rewarded for not settling okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you gemini So the card says retreat it's time to, to disconnect from the world okay so i do see someone here who wants to spend more time with you um this could even be someone planning some sort of trip with you um making plans to go somewhere with you some sort of adventure with you um somebody who wants to you know make time to spend together just the two of you um this is definitely somebody who sees a future with you they're very focused on you at this time okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you gemini So the card says daffodil, rebirth and new beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Okay, so I do see this definitely as a completion energy. There is a new chapter that you're stepping into, one filled with a lot of love. And I do see this as um, a season where you'll be really thankful to yourself that you didn't settle for less. Um, because there, I do see there was an opportunity where you could have, but um, you, you waited and there's this Nine of Cups energy for you, which is really emotional fulfillment, a wish being granted and successful um, outcomes for you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.